everyone, welcome to Storytime with Michelle and welcome to week 10 of our Soar Into Summer reading program. Can you believe it? 10 stories already that we've read together this summer. And I don't know about where you live, but here in Miami, it's so hot. And when it's this hot, I kind of like to stay indoors in the air conditioning and read books. But if I do go outside with my girls, well, I love to splash in the pool to cool off. So this week's selection is perfect for us. We are going to read Splash Dance, written and illustrated by Liz Starin. Now, stay tuned after the story because I'm going to share with you some ideas on how you can beat the heat this summer, and I'll also tell you a little bit more about our Soar Into Summer reading program. Ready to read? Here we go. Ursula and Ricardo were taking a swim. They were practicing their moves for the upcoming Water Ballet Championship. The prize was one million dollars. So they trained and trained. Man, I really want to win, said Ursula. We can do it, said Ricardo. We're a team. But one morning, they got a terrible surprise. No policy, said the lifeguard. Bears are too hairy. But I'm a very clean bear, said Ursula. I comb twice a day. Tough noogies, said the lifeguard. What about that guy, said Ricardo. Scram, said the lifeguard. Don't worry, whispered Ursula. I know what to do. The next day, Ursula was ready for practice. So was Ricardo. So was Hortense. Ursula, meet my new partner, said Ricardo. What? gasped Ursula. Oh, I think his new partner is a giraffe. Oh no. And Ursula came dressed up as a bunny. Ursula went home and cried for a week. Sometimes she slunk down to the neighborhood pond. She did her fanciest moves all alone. Ursula was in a big, big funk. One gloomy day, the pond was already occupied. It figures, said Ursula. Then she looked again. Wow, great moves, said Ursula. Thanks, said a bear. We were up for the championship, but now we're stuck in this pond. I'm Ralph. Your team didn't ditch you? Ursula asked. Of course not. We're a team, Ralph said. Hmm, I think... I think I have an idea, said Ursula. May I join you? Ursula and her new teammates worked hard to prepare. Soon the big day arrived and at the crowded pool entrance, there were no bears in sight. Do you see what the sign says? Water ballet championships, no bears. It was a day of fierce competition. Ricardo and Hortense performed a graceful duet. Okay, ladies and gerbils, said the judge. Let's thank all the swimmers before we announce the winners of... Ready! Boomed a chorus of voices. Set! Go! The crowd exploded. Ursula's team staged a complicated routine with Ursula's triple banana flip as the finale. They bowed, then they marched out. Well, said the judge, please help me congratulate our winners, Ricardo and Hortense. But the audience had other ideas. They all laughed. Meanwhile, Ursula was steamed. We were so much better than those turkeys, she said. Why didn't we win? Look, said Ralph, we did. There's Ricardo getting his prize. Here's everybody else. They tore down the sign that said no bears and they put up a new sign that said our pool, everyone welcome. Ursula and Ralph and Hector and Lucy and Wilma and Bo were taking a swim. They were practicing their moves for the upcoming water ballet championship. The prize was one million dollars. So they trained and trained. The end. 
what a lovely, refreshing book. I really enjoyed that. And I really liked the story, the characters, and all of the whimsical drawings. I hope you enjoyed that too. I really liked the message of inclusivity and how Ursula and her friends were able to work together to find a creative solution to their problems. They used teamwork to solve their problem, didn't they? Now, I think if you don't already have this book on your bookshelf, you might want to buy it because I think I'm going to be reading this book over and over again with my girls. Why don't you share your thoughts with me on the book by visiting my Facebook page and joining the book club and there you can let me know what you thought about the book and you'll also be able to find ideas for games and activities and refreshing treats that you can enjoy to help you beat the heat this summer. Now, you can also get more information about our Soar into Summer Reading program. The full list and all the books that we've read so far are there at the book club, and I'm going to link to them down below so that you can catch up if you've missed any books this summer. All right, until next time, stay cool and happy reading. Bye!